Okay, hi guys. Um, if you're used to watching my Toastmasters videos, then you can feel free to skip this one because I'm going to talk about weightlifting and bodybuilding stuff. And specifically, I'm going to talk about a video I just watched by Louis Margot. And I have to comment on this. I just, I'm dying to say something. And I hope it helps anybody out there who's kind of a beginner or, or looking for information. <clears throat> And the thing is that, you know, this science stuff keeps popping up. And I don't know if some people are believing it or what, but I want to say something about science. I'm not a scientist, right? But, you know, science is not, is not available in headline form. That's the first thing I want to say. There's no such thing as soundbite science it's always much more complicated than what even scientists can summarize it to be. You know, it, you need to look into it, you need to read it, you need to understand it. That's the way science works. It's, and for us bodybuilders, the science can help us a lot, right? But we have to tailor fit the stuff to fit our own needs. You have to know yourself. Like for example, you got guys on the internet talking about free weights. Other people say use machines. Some people say just do cardio for losing fat or don't do cardio for losing fat. It goes on and on and on and on. You have to find out what works for you, right? And I'm not an expert. I've only been doing fitness for about a year and a half. I've gotten good results. But I know that, and it's by trying hard, it's by consistently sticking with good basic advice nothing crazy just your basic stuff that I've tailor, tailor fitted to myself and I gotta give cre full credit to guys like Scooby Scott Herman Fitness was the first fitness videos I found there he, he, he details his exercises really well and I've watched the twins a bit Louis Marco's great and uh, I watched Brandon Carter a little bit. He, uh, some of his exercises are really useful when you don't have a gym. Scooby too. Uh, some people say go to the gym. Some people say don't go to the gym. Right? The science is not that simple. It's the same thing. There, but the reasons for scientific differences are very complex, and they need to be understood. Okay, so you don't have time to read it. Whatever. Find something that makes sense and try it for a long time, uh, that is, you know, within reason, until you see if it really works or not. Because changing your body is not something you can do quickly. And learning science is, is also not something that can be done quickly. You have to read it and understand it in depth and then see if it applies to you. So there's no headline version is my main point. You know, you. My favorite example, this is the Twinkie diet, right? This guy in some university somewhere did a Twinkie diet. And I don't even know what his point was. I guess it was that the main way to lose body weight is to create a calorie deficit. It doesn't matter what creates a deficit or what you eat during that time. But that's not the point, right? The, to get in depth to that, you have to say, well, wait a second, if I'm a bodybuilder, does a Twinkie have any nutrients at all that are going to contribute to my adding muscle and losing fat at the same time or contribute to me becoming stronger or whatever? And obviously, Twinkie diet is not going to work, right? There's no nutrients in a Twinkie. It, of course, it gives you deficit. But I guess that guy lost some muscle too or whatever. He even said, oh, I go home at night and I eat vegetables so my kids won't, you know, be, won't realize I'm just eating Twinkie. It shows he doesn't believe in his own study. So what was the point of that? I don't I fully don't understand. So all the science in the world doesn't matter. There's no headline version and you got to find out what works for you and tweak the stuff that works for you. So you know, my second point is who do you want to look like? Do you want to look like pop tart science or do you want to look like Scooby? Scooby's in his 50s, right? I'm nowhere near that, but I hope when I get there, you know, I'll be really pleased with my progress. I'll be really pleased with my self-discipline and my, 
my lifestyle if I can stick with it and look something like Scooby at that time in terms of my physique or Louis Marco who's really ripped he's been doing it for a long time though so I have to I also have to balance my expectations right but I want to take advice from guys who are doing what I'm gonna want to do and you know that's a, think about it you you go to learn a musical instrument you go to a professional player right you may start at the beginning level with somebody who only went so far but at least they play the instrument right you're not gonna learn tuba from a violin player I mean you might be able to but it's only gonna get you so far and if you wanna be a really good bodybuilder look at really guys you look up to and you also have to temper that too right like if you wanna look like Ronnie Coleman that's a whole different thing cuz He's taken, he may, may be taking some stuff, you know, who knows. But he definitely inspires us, right? Like, I love his video where he, he's going lightweight and he chucks two, four hundred or whatever, a couple of gigantic barbells on the floor and he's like, watch yourself. So, you know, he's really cool. But he has to take a certain route to get to that point. So... That's my main points, guys. Louis Marco, man, I love his videos. Like, every day he's got a video there for me to watch, and it's just, it's great. Uh, I recommend for you guys, Cut the Fat Podcast. They get into the science, and they talk about it in detail. And you can interact with them on Facebook and stuff, although I don't do that, but, you know, you can if you want to. And Scooby, Twins, you can do whatever the heck you want to do. It's so cool. and uh, But they don't say heck. Scott Herman Fitness. Good. I like the way he goes over exercises, man. It's great. So, anyway. Uh, keep up. I really, I hope you, I want to encourage you beginners and you kind of amateur guys because it can be hard. I go to the gym and uh, sometimes there's a, this big buff dude there and I'm like uh, I'm not nearly that big you know I hope I'm not big someday but anyway I'm gonna keep going and I'm gonna keep doing the best even though I had a big box of sushi tonight but anyway no headline science and think about who you want to look like well, let me ask you this when you go to Scooby's website how many negative comments do you see very few. Louis Marco, a little bit. You, you see guys disagreeing with Louis Marco, right? That'll tell you, like, if you if you don't know what, what good advice is on YouTube, look how many crap comments are. There are, like, F, 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 and then F, 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 and C, and S, and if the comment section is full of this, then the video is probably, right? Like, who's that guy? I don't know his name. Um, he, oh, I guess it's stand firm or whatever. Dudes are always bagging on that guy, so I don't know if it's good advice or not. I just stay away from it. But look in Scooby's comments. Lots of positive comments. People say, hey, you know, it, it's not kissing his butt. It's just positive, generally construction, constructive comments. You know, Louis Marco the same. I, I've read people disagree with him all the time. He, he says stuff that, you know, maybe you disagree with. But people disagree with it respectfully, right? But I browse Pop-Tart videos. <laughs> He's got a whole video dedicated to his hate mail. I don't know if Scooby or Louis Marco or Twins get enough hate mail to make a video about it. And it, even if they did, why would you be proud of it? I mean, those are just trolls. But obviously, some of the, if you, you know, that's going to happen, right? But on the Pop-Tart stuff, it's obviously not constructive, so. There's no headline science, my friend. There's no way. It's always more complicated and more complex. It just requires you to go to a higher level of understanding in order for you to use it. And think about, who do you want to look like? So, anyway. That's my two cents.